Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. Before we begin today's video, I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Bayi. So Bayi is an online proxy service, and if you've watched any of my previous haul videos from recently, or my Bayi unboxing video, uh, you'll know that they have sponsored me in the past. Uh, <laughs> Bayi is an awesome service that allows you to buy products from Japan, uh, from shops like Yahoo Japan Auctions, Mercari, uh, Amazon Japan, and like a bunch of other shops. I'm actually going to be showing a few art books in this video, and you can use Bayi to buy from places like Melon Books to get a bunch of like really, really nice Japanese uh, art books. So. I'd highly recommend using them if you are looking at buying from some sites in Japan because you're able to get some really great deals and you're able to get products that you probably wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Um, so thank you so much to Bai for sponsoring this video. And if you guys sign up at the link in the description, you can actually get 2000 yen off your first order, which is about like 25 Canadian dollars. So that is not something to sneeze at. Um, it is a really great deal. And I encourage you all to at least take a look because uh, I found some really great stuff on Bai. So yeah, thanks again to Bai for sponsoring this video and uh, let's get into the haul. All right, so today we are back for a classic Gwen Collects video. It is my monthly haul video. And I actually didn't do a July monthly haul just because Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I just did a lot of like chill unboxings and there was the collab video. If you haven't watched that yet, I'll link it above, of course. Uh, but I just haven't done a good old haul video in a while. So this is going to have stuff from July. It's going to have stuff from August. Uh, a few things that I did chill unboxings of. I'll just throw in really quickly in case you don't watch those. And then I have a ton of new figures and actually a few of my first art books. So I'm really excited to show you all what I have picked up over the last two months. Uh, and yeah, uh, this video actually won't have my August pre-orders because everything is coming out like right at the end of August. So I won't actually have the figures. Well, I don't at the time of filming this. And I probably won't even have the figures yet when this video goes up. So yeah. The August uh, pre-orders will be in probably their own chill unboxing video, honestly, because I'm so pumped about all of my August pre-orders, so we'll see. But you'll be seeing those very soon. So anyway, let's get into these figures because I have actually quite a few to go through this month. All right, so first up we have Miss Hinata. Uh, Hinata Miyake, Miyak Miyake, I believe is her name, uh, from A Place Further Than the Universe. So if you watched, uh, I think my last monthly haul I did, uh, I actually got her counterpart, Shirase. I don't know, I don't think you can see her down there, but I have her down there and obviously I'll put them together in the B-roll. But uh, I love A Place Further Than the Universe and I've been wanting to pick up the Hinata and the Shirase Nendoroids for a while now, so when I complained that I wasn't able to pick her up uh, in one of my previous videos, somebody actually commented on the video and was like, hey, I'm thinking about selling Hinata, uh, I'll sell her to you. So I was actually able to get this Nendoroid from a wonderful viewer. So thank you so much. <laughs> I love her so much. She's a super, super cute Nendoroid and I love all of her accessories. Just like Shira say, she comes with the super cool like snow base, which I think is just Oh, I just love it so much. And I think like her face plates and everything are just like perfect. Um, <laughs> I think she's really just the perfect counterpart to Shirase. Shirase is so serious, even in the Nendoroid form. And Hinata is just like such a fun, cute little bubbly girl. So I love her so much. Um, and I think my favorite part of this Nendoroid is actually her hair sculpt. So to change out her like face plates, you actually take off like the front of her hair and you actually have to take off her bun and then detach the little like strands that hang around from the front. It's actually really cool. I've never seen a Nendoroid with a hairpiece like that, but I think she looks really, really good. And her hairpiece is, it's so adorable. <laughs> so yeah, I love her so much. I think that she looks so, so nice with Shirase. Now let's hope we get the other two girls. Uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath, but you know what? Maybe we'll get them. <laughs> All right, next up we have a figure that I was actually not expecting to pick up this month. Uh, and it is the 
Saber Alter dress version by Alter. <laughs> so um, this is the first time I've ever seen this happen in the figure collecting community. It's okay, <laughs> it's okay. The sword is all right. So this was a figure I was not expecting to get. Um, so essentially she was supposed to come out in October of this year. Uh, that was the original release date of this beautiful Saber Alter figure. And I had her pre-ordered. She was actually one of the first figures that I ever pre-ordered. And when I pre-ordered Saber, I thought she was just stunning. I was in love with her. I definitely got caught up in that like re-release hype. And to be honest, I kind of fell out of love with her. Um, and I have a few expensive figures coming out in October. So I was really, really planning on canceling her. I was getting ready to cancel her. I just thought I'd wait until closer to October in case I changed my mind. Um, but then I got a delay email from Ami Ami and it was for her. And I was like, how do they even know there's a delay? Like it's not even close to October yet. But then I opened up the, the delay email. I like went into my Ami Ami and looked and her release date had changed to July. So yeah, she essentially got reverse delayed from uh, October to July and all of my July figures actually got delayed. So I had like my uh, 10th anniversary holo and stuff and they all got delayed. So I was honestly like, well, I mean, she was gonna be expensive in October, but now I have no figures ordered for this month. So I thought, you know what? It was meant to be. This is a sign that I shouldn't have canceled her and I should just get her. And I must say she is absolutely beautiful. Um, I know she's pretty popular in the figure collecting community. I'm sure you have all seen her a million times, but I must say the Saber Ultra Dress version is probably one of the best anime figures ever made. <laughs> um, her dress is insane. Her base I love. Um, yeah, They're, it really just, she is incredible and I love the different like poses you can do for her. And honestly, for the amount of detail that she has and the amount that figures are currently selling for <laughs> at retail price, uh, I think that 16,500 yen, which is what I paid for her, is actually a very, very fair price for this figure. Um, yeah, I think she is absolutely stunning and I'm really, I'm really glad I added her to my collection. Um, I still kind of understand why I m thought about canceling her. Um, and you know, I think even though I do love her and I'm glad I have her in my collection, if I ever decide to sell some figures, she'll probably be the first to go. As stunning as she is, there's just, I don't know, there's something about her that like doesn't make me as excited as my other figures. And I really do love her, but yeah, she, she was kind of one of those ones where I was like, you know what, let's just get her and see what I think. <laughs> and I do really love her and she looks amazing next to Judith. And actually Judith, the only reason I bought Judith in the first place was to go with Saber because I saw someone on my figure collection post a picture of them together and, and I actually like Judith so much more but they do look super super stunning together. I'll definitely add B footage of them beside each other but yeah I am really happy that she ended up getting reverse delayed and I was able to add this beauty to my collection. Next up I have a figure that was in my Bai chill unboxing very recently. I'll link the video above. Uh, and it is the Rin Kagamin uh, Hanagarimo? <laughs> Definitely butchered that. <laughs> uh, the Rin figure by Stronger. Um, I actually got this off of Bai from Yahoo Japan Auctions and I love her so, so much. Um, I love her just as much as when I unboxed her in that video. So I don't really have much more to add. Um, I think she just looks incredible on my shelf and her unique pose and beautiful base just really adds a whole, a whole nother level, I think, to this figure. So I'm super glad I have her in my collection. And I actually haven't ordered the matching Miku yet. I just keep talking myself out of it, <laughs> but I think I'll eventually get the matching Miku and probably the matching Len as well. But yeah, I love her so much. If you want to hear my additional thoughts on her, um, you can watch the video where I unbox her, but yeah, I love this Rin so, so, so much. And I know she's expensive on the aftermarket, but if you can get her for around 19,000 yen like I did, I think she's definitely worth that. So yeah, I love her so much. All right, so this next figure is one that I didn't plan on picking up. Um, 
but she just kind of like showed up at an opportune time at a great price and what can I say? <laughs> I actually did a favor for my mom and then <laughs> in exchange she said she would buy me an anime figure. <laughs> so I was like, sick deal, let's go. Uh, and she just kind of showed up at the right time. So I picked this figure up. I don't know her name. It's like Flamingo Ballet Company something something. Uh, obviously, as always, it'll be linked in the description of this video. But she is actually by Union Creative, which can be kind of a hit or miss kind of brand. Um, but I think that this beautiful ballerina was an absolute hit. Union Creative did a stunning job. Like, she has the best hair sculpt on any of my figures. She, her hair is just stunning. There's like not a seam line to be seen. Ugh, she is perfection. Like this figure is perfection. Her tutu even looks like tulle, like, oh my God. She is one of my absolute favorites in my collection now. And she's also massive. Uh, Union Creative doesn't usually give like the scale of their figures, but I'm pretty sure she's like a one sixth ish. Uh, but yeah, I'm obsessed. And I actually got her for a beautiful 12,000 yen off uh, Mandarake. And yeah, she's stunning. Shipping was like about 4,000 yen for me DHL from Mandarake. So all in all, she was about 16,000 yen, which is actually less than her retail price. So I'm absolutely thrilled um, with her. She's stunning. And like just yesterday, they announced that they're gonna be making the other two girls to go with her and they just put up, well, okay, the announcement's been up for a while, but they put the prototypes up yesterday. So I feel like I just, it was just meant to be, you know? I just saw her, she was a great price. It all just came together and I was able to add this beautiful ballerina to my collection. Uh, my only gripe with this figure is she just sits on her little stool and it's kind of like sketch. Like, I don't think she'll fall, but the stool is kind of flimsy. I don't know, um, but yeah, that would be my only complaint. Other than that, she is perfection. And I urge anyone that is scared of Union Creative to not be scared of this Union Creative figure. And if you want it, pick it up. She is immaculate and beautiful. Next up is a figure I've been really looking forward to getting because of the insanely good price that he is. Um, and it is the Fig Arts Zero uh, Senku Ishigami. I think that's his name, from Dr. Stone. So when I saw this figure go up for pre-order a few months ago, I knew I had to have it. The prototype looked amazing and I love Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone is probably one of my favorite shonen animes. It's just fantastic. I love Dr. Stone and I love Senku as a protagonist. So I was like, I have to get this figure of him. And the prototype looked amazing. It looked incredible. So I was super, super excited about it. And on Ami Ami, he was a cool, 4,580 yen. What a killer price. I was like, either they're gonna just completely mess it up, like it's not gonna look at all like the prototype, or I'm gonna get an absolute banger of a figure. And let me tell you guys, he's an absolute banger. This figure is incredible for the price. Uh, I have heard that the Fig Art Zero line can be a little bit hit or miss, but this one is an absolute hit. He is, first of all, he's huge and heavy. Second of all, his sculpt himself is like, honestly, his sculpt and paint job is like on par with like, honestly, it's nearly on par with scale figures. Like he looks fantastic. Uh, 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 like his hair looks so good. I can't get over how good he looks. Like when I took him out of the box, I was just like, holy, this is perfection for 4,000. He costs less than like a Nendoroid. This costs less than a Nendoroid. I can't believe it. Uh, the rocks look amazing. The paint job on the rocks is probably like the best part. The only part that's a little bit, you can tell he was a bit cheaper is probably the blue smoke. Uh, just cause it's a bit like stuck together. Like you can really see the seam lines in the back, but I honestly think he kind of covers up the seam lines in the front where you look at him from anyway. And come on, like for 4,580 yen, like what, what do you expect? Like this is amazing for that price. Um, there are a few like paint scuffs here and there, but he looks amazing and they really, really delivered on that prototype. Uh, his flag is kind of hard to get into his hand, that's for sure, but even then it looks so good. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
He's fantastic. I think he's so well done. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled with this figure. Uh, I talked about him a while ago in one of my videos. I don't remember which one. And some people in the comments said that he could end up being kind of bad uh, because figure at zero can be a hit or a miss, but I'm happy to report that he turned out fantastic. And there's been a few people on like my figure collection where they said it was kind of meh, but the vast majority of people who got this figure uh, didn't have any issues with it and it looks as great as mine. I'm I'm so, so happy with how uh, Senku turned out. And I implore you, if you can find him anywhere in stock for a good price, please order him. He's fantastic. And if you are a Canadian like me, I was able to ship him untracked. I was a little bit worried because he is kind of a bigger figure that he wouldn't fit in the, I think it's the size 100 box is like the max size you can ship untracked. But I'm happy to report that you can ship him untracked. And I think untracked shipping for him was like about 20 bucks Canadian. So all in all, he came up to about $70, I think, or $75 Canadian with shipping for this. Can you ask for more? He looks fantastic. So please buy him. <laughs> uh, he's probably one of my like, he's most definitely one of my favorite like value for money figures. He just looks fantastic. And I could, I cannot be more happy. Can you guys not tell? Like I'm so thrilled with how he turned out. <laughs> so if you guys watched my chill unboxing from a few weeks ago, you'll know that I picked up the beautiful Hurdle Shoujo or Hurdle Girl from SkyTube. Uh, the original art was by Keke Matsu. And I must say, I'm so happy I picked her up. You can tell how happy I am in that chill unboxing video. And every day I look at her on my shelf and I'm just like, she's perfect. She's everything I could have ever hoped for in a figure. Um, oh my God. Like anybody that sees my collection, their eyes just like immediately go to her. Um, she is, she's incredible. Um, Everything about her is perfection, and yeah, um, I haven't gotten over it since that video. I have not gotten over her. She's just, she's just too perfect. Uh, everything about her is flawless, and I love her so much. I actually ordered another Kekematsu figure, this one made by Native, because I'm just obsessed with Kekematsu's drawings. Um, yeah, I'm in love. She is, she's so stunning. So yeah, I, I love her so, 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 so much. Um, and I got her for, I think she was about 300 Canadian dollars. So definitely not a cheap figure, but definitely, definitely worth it. I love her. All right, and the final figure I have to show you guys for this month's haul is actually a milestone in my collection. This is my 50th figure. <laughs> uh, and it is the Ui Hirasawa Kaon figure. Uh, I think that it's so, so exciting that I was able to complete the k -On collection first of all, yay! <laughs> but also that my 50th figure could be the completion of my favorite figure set. Um, I've been looking out for this Ui for a while. I was hoping to pick her up in BB condition from AmiAmi just because I, I didn't really care if the box was like damaged at all or anything. And she actually goes for quite a bit for being kind of like a more minor character from the show. Um, I ended up paying about, I think, 7,600 yen for her. I got her in AB condition on AmiAmi because I was just tired of waiting for her to show up in BB and I just wanted her. So I picked her up in AB condition. Um, and honestly, the box, the window was kind of coming out of the box. She really should have been AC condition, but whatever, it's fine. I don't really care. I opened the box anyway, so. <laughs> she is absolutely stunning, of course, so cute. <laughs> Just as all of the other Alter Kaon figures are, um, they're all just perfect. And uh, I actually like her a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I thought she'd be kind of plain, but she actually turned out really, really sweet. And I really like her pose and her hair sculpt is adorable with her like little hairs kind of like sticking out. She turned out really, really nice. And I think she looks great next to Yui. I'm so happy to have her. And she actually came with a little chibi Yui because Yui is always like complaining uh, to Ui. <laughs> So I love, I love that. The little chibi Yui is so, so cute. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really love this Yui. <laughs> she is so cute. And I'm just so pumped to have like finished off the whole Kaon collection. I'll put some video footage of them all on my shelves. If you guys have any advice on how I should display my Kaon set, because I think they look okay displayed right now, but I feel like maybe with risers or something they could look better. Uh, let me know. 
or let me know if you like this the setup I currently have I don't know how I feel about it I think it looks good um, and some of their bases are so big getting risers can be really hard so let me know what you guys think of the k setup um, I'll insert some B footage with all of them but yeah I'm super super happy to have them all and yeah this set is just so cute I really I really encourage anybody who is a fan of k to pick them up because I think they turned out super nice and I'm just super happy to have the whole set all right, the last two things I have to show you really quick are actually two art books that I picked up this month. Actually, I picked these both up in July, but anyway. <laughs> uh, the first art book I picked up is the Fuzichoko Artworks uh, Saigen Kyo, it says. So this is uh, Fuzichoko. She makes beautiful art. She actually does the art for the Ghost Bride figure that's coming out by, um, by Good Smile Company. And I just absolutely love their artwork. Uh, it's just stunning. And everything in this book is absolutely gorgeous. And actually the artwork that the uh, Hana Giriomo, oh my God, I can't say it. Uh, the artwork that that's based on is actually also in this book. So I think it's really cool that I have a figure based on artwork from this art book. I don't know. I just really love that. The second art book that I picked up is the Akiakane Artworks. Uh, I can't read the title, but <laughs> this is the book. And this book. Oh my god, this book. Like the Fuzichoko one is stunning. This one is beyond beautiful. Um, I love Akiakane's art style and the color choice that they choose. Oh my god. It's so, like, oh my god. I cannot get over it. It looks so good. I love every piece in this book. Um, I can't, like, I'm just in awe. Uh, I'll include lots of b-roll of me flipping through this because, oh my god, I just absolutely love it. Like, oh, yeah. So this artwork is absolutely stunning. I just love the use of color and, oh, I'm, I'm just in love with this book. Um, I got them both from Amazon Japan for about, I think like maybe Fuzi Chocos was like 3,800 yen and this one was 3,000 yen around that. Uh, and yeah, they were very good purchases. Uh, I'm in love with these art books <laughs> and now I want to get more art books. So <laughs> I'll definitely be picking up a few more in the future, but I'm really, really happy to have started my art book collection. All right, so that is all I have to show you guys today. Thanks again to Bai for sponsoring this video. Uh, we love Bai over here. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing another haul. It's been a while. I'm happy to be back with another haul. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you all have a very wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.